In this video, we'll talk about the last theory, the fourth theory of evolution, and that is known as neo Darwinism. This theory is also called the modern theory of evolution. And it is also known as synthetic theory of evolution. This theory has two postulates. The first postulate is or it says that in a population there is gene variability. Gene variability. That means in any given population there are variations and these variations exist because of certain genetic changes which are present in that population. This is first postulate. The second postulate says that the best adopted organism or the one which is adapted properly for that environmental condition that is selected by the nature. So it is natural selection. That means the best adapted organism would be selected by the nature. Now, what are the causes of this gene variability? There are four points or four reasons which are considered as the main causes for this. The first is mutation. Second, that is mutation is responsible for these variations. Then recombination. The third cause is hybridization and the fourth is genetic drift. We have discussed mutation in detail in the chapter, first chapter of this unit that is when we were talking about Mendel's laws and the various types of inheritances. But we will quickly go over all the types of mutations which take place. These mutations can be chromosomal mutations or those mutations can be even genetic mutations. In chromosomal mutations, we talked about Morphological, morphological mutations and numeric, numeric mutations. Now in morphological changes or morphological uh, aberrations what we call, it can be caused due to addition, deletion, Translocation or inversion. That means a part of the chromosome gets deleted from one, gets added in some other part. So a piece gets broken. If it is broken, then we will consider it as deletion. If that broken part gets added somewhere, then it will be called addition. It can also be a duplication thing. So it can be addition leading to duplication also. And a transversion or a translocation would be the two pieces get broken down from the homologous chromosomes and they change their position amongst that pair of chromosomes. Inversion is where the sequence gets inverted. That means a piece gets cut and it rotates 180 and then joins that same uh, chromosome. But the sequence would be read in an inverted manner. In numeric mutations, we talked about again two categories. One was a nuploidy, a nuploidy, where the change in the chromosome number is plus minus one or two. That means either one chromosome gets added, additional, or two chromosomes are extra. Or one chromosome is lost or both the chromosomes are lost. 
In this, we talked about all those terms like monosomy, nullisomy, trisomy, and tetrasomy. This is aneuploidy. Second under numeric was euploidy, where the chromosome number changes by a set. So one set is haploid, two sets, that means if it gets double, then diploid, triploid, tetraploid, or polyploids. So all these would come under the chromosomal mutations. And as I said, we have already discussed these earlier. Gene mutation, that means we are talking about the change or mutation in a particular location or a point or a nucleotide. Under this, we talk of point mutation. And under point mutation, it can be, again, addition of a nitrogen base or it can be deletion of a nitrogen base or it could be substitution of the nitrogen base. That means in these two cases, that is addition or deletion, one nucleotide would either get added or would get deleted. In both these situations, it would result into frame shift mutation. And we have discussed these things in detail. So this is one cause of gene variability. The second cause is recombination and this takes place during crossing over while gametes are formed, that means during the meiotic cell division, crossing over during meiotic cell division. The two homologous chromosomes, they undergo vertical splitting, forming sister chromatids. The non-sister chromatids cross over and crossing over. They cross over and the genetic material gets exchanged and that exchange genetic material is known as recombination and that also is responsible for this gene variability. The third cause is hybridization. During hybridization, the different species or two species are crossed and the offspring which is obtained is known as hybrid. And this hybrid shows variation or variability because it is going to show the characteristic features of both these species. The fourth is genetic drift, which means elimination of genes or alleles or alleles from a population. That means these genes or alleles can if are lost from a population due to any reason, that reason could be an epidemic also, that reason could be a disease also because of which these genes get eliminated from that particular population. Then that situation is called genetic drift. Genetic drift is also given two terms. One, it, it is also known as allelic drift or it is also termed uh, on the basis of a scientist's name and that is Sewall's Sewall Wright. Sewall Wright's effect. It is named after the scientist. So these are four reasons or causes for gene variability. It could be because of mutations, recombination, hybridization or genetic drift. So this is about the first postulate. Now let us talk about the second postulate that is the natural selection. The second postulate that is natural selection, it also has uh, two points. The first one, it says that the organism which is selected by the nature is the stronger and it is adapted to that natural condition in a better manner. That means the nature selects the better adapted organisms. And the second point says that 
these better adapted organisms they reproduce at a, a faster rate that is better adapted better adapted organisms will produce more number of offsprings and the reason is because they are adapted they are able to reproduce at a faster rate and these variations which they have are the genetic variations so these variations get transferred to the next generation so the next generation which is formed is also better adapted to that changed environment that means that means the organisms which are suitable in that environment are selected by the nature so these two postulates the first one is genetic variability and second is natural selection in genetic variability we talked about four causes mutation recombination hybridization and genetic drift genetic drift two more terms which are given to it one more thing which we have to remember about genetic drift is that it is always seen in case of a small population that means this effect or elimination of gene is always identified in a smaller population then natural selection best adapted is selected and that best adapted is having differential reproductive potential more adapted or better adapted would reproduce at a faster rate as compared to the less adapted ones now after this theory we will take up the examples in support of natural selection